Hi everyone. Welcome today. Hope you have a great day. So today's topic is about uh, mindful eating. So mindful eating is fun activity and uh, when you do with all your five senses, it's much more uh, refreshing to your taste buds as well, knowing what you're eating and you listen to your body as well, tuning into your body. So there are five senses, uh, say, by seeing, by the taste, uh, by smelling, by hearing, and uh, by the touch as well. So these five senses we are going to implement in mindful eating. So when you are eating a spoonful of your dinner or your breakfast or your toast, anything it could be, or even a chocolate. I do this chocolate thing with the children in mindfulness uh, at school. It's so fun. They say it's torture, mindful eating. So hold uh, whatever you're eating, place it, smell it, see what you're smelling, check out for the new ingredients that you have added or someone else cooked for you. Do check out, is there a ginger, is there a garlic, is there any, any other sauces as well in the food that you haven't noticed before with the smell itself. Have you ever watched MasterChef? They do this in MasterChef programs as well. One of the contestants, they have to go through this uh, um, uh, queue of... Uh, testing like checking out what ingredients are there by blindfold just by uh, smelling it so which is so fun and um, so do that and the next thing is uh, um, after the smell try to see how colorful is your plate as well like is it presented well do you like to be presented well maybe working on your representation skills serving food for your family or for yourself as well check that out so the next thing is, of course, not in all the food you can hear, but here, uh, if you're eating some pistachios or groundnuts with the nuts in, with the shells in, so you can hear the sound as well as you're cracking, as you're opening these nuts. So that is, again, mindfulness as well. You're enjoying the process about it. So the next one is about um, the touch itself. Like, you know, if you're eating like broccoli, when you touch the broccoli itself, you feel a difference or the salad, the lettuce or the tomato, the bouillie. So it's all the touch and it's so different, isn't it? Each of it and your discovery. If you look at a baby or a toddler or um, infant, they always do love to explore by touching anything that they are very daring. They can do touch anything given in front of them. That is how they feel their senses with and they like or dislike by the touch itself. Yeah. And the way they bring everything to the mouth as well, again, they are sensing what the taste is like. Yeah. So with that, uh, the next thing is placing that spoonful into your mouth and just uh, letting it be there in your mouth, trying to taste what it is like. When you eat in a rush, you just don't know what you're eating as well. We are so quick in eating and uh, getting over the business of eating and going rush, right? But a lot of people now at the work, uh, they do eat uh, uh, at the desk as well, so which is like not healthy at all. So do you watch um, how you eat, where do you eat? So at least for three spoonfuls, it's great to have those senses by the touch and uh, by the even the flavors to be in your mouth and eating them. So you, you do understand, do you like carrots? Some simple thing, or do you like the salmon? Or you don't like it, yeah. Uh, sometimes the parents do uh, mash it up, some of the vegetables and uh, do cook it, so you don't know what it is in there. But when you're very, with your senses, it's easier to play. And also at the dining table, uh, you can do the hide and seek thing as well. Uh, trying to figure it out what's in your dinner today and uh, letting the children guess as well. So by having some fun, it's much easier to do the mindful activities. The other thing is even with a coffee or with your tea, you can do it. The first three sips, like half the coffee or the tea and be aware of the smell, the fragrance, um, the kick uh, and the how um, the taste is or the milk or just the coffee beans itself like so these are all bringing you into totally be in that sense and be present being very aware of where you are what you're doing as well so uh, and even especially the coffee what I realized is I was doing it I didn't like uh, coffee any more than after a few mouthfuls like yeah like if you go to Starbucks, they give you a huge one. But after like um, three times or four times, I, I take a sip like, oh, no. just because you bought it, you might try to finish it off. Yeah. So think about it. Um, what are you eating? And 
how are the senses, the taste buds, and you listen to your belly as well, that you're all now, or to you had enough, and you can uh, get on to some other activities that you were doing as well, rather than just trying to finish your course on your plate. So try the mindful eating and incorporate with your family as well. With that, I'll leave you to think about it and try it on. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day.